do you want a lockdown build that plays exceptional defense on every single build? Do you want a lock that gets crazy contact dunks? Do you want a lockdown that not only plays defense but can shoot from anywhere on the court? Well, you came to the right video because in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a catfish lockdown build that can shoot, gets insane contact dunks, can speed boost and play make, and has insane defense. This build can literally do everything. Alright man, so look, I'm gonna show you guys the best and most overpowered lockdown build in NBA 2K23. Now I gotta be honest, I didn't make this build myself. My IRL friend Synthetic actually made this build and put me on. I actually made a little bit of adjustments to make it slightly better than the build he gave me. But hey, the base build is actually for my boy Synthetic. So I'm gonna leave his link in the description down below. Go show my boy some support. Go show my boy some love. But hey, y'all came here to find out how to make the best lockdown build in NBA 2K23 that can literally do everything. Everything, from getting contact dunks to shooting limbless range, dribbling to obviously playing defense because we're a fucking lockdown. We gotta have some fucking defense. To having good physicals, this build is literally overpowered everywhere. It does not have any weak spots. So, hey, I know y'all don't want to hear me talk anymore. Y'all just want to know how to make the build, and I got y'all. Let's jump into it, man. Let's go. All right, first things first. To make this build, you gotta make the position a shooting guard, not a point guard, not a small forward. Shooting guard gets the best attributes as well as the best badge count. So make sure it's. Shooting guard, handed doesn't really matter. Right handed, I'm gonna go for right handed because I always do. And this number, let's go for number 77. Seven is my favorite number, so 77, double my favorite number. That's a W number right there, bro. Hey, slow down. I know you see the name YouTube Aussie. You're literally watching me as I speak to you right now, making this build. So just switch some support, hit that motherfucking like button, abuse that motherfucking, hit that subscribe button, subscribe notification, turn it on. And hey, just leave a comment of, of how you're doing today. Let me know how you guys are feeling today. I actually do reply to every single comment. Uh, hey, let's move on, man. All right, now for the body setting, starting off for the height, we're gonna bring it up by one to six foot six, and for the weight, we're gonna bring it up to 235 pounds. We're gonna go to 235 exactly, just like that. And lastly, for the wingspan, we're gonna make it seven foot three wingspan. And for the body shape, I'm just leave it as solid. Y'all could go to fine or burly because some people do like burly locks, but I don't really like my shit too burly. So I'm gonna just leave mine as solid. You know what I'm saying? I still got a solid body, but I'm not too big, not too fat. Feel me? into the attributes let's make this build the best lockdown build in all of mb 2k23 and that all starts up with the close shot which you're gonna start off on the 85 so pump it all the way to 85 keep going to 85 just like this up 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 for the driving lap it's just gonna be at a 70 nothing too much so let's put it out at a 70 just like this for the driving that's gonna be an 86 so we do get pro contact dunk stuff so put up to 86 just like this now we do just miss out on the small contact dunks because you guys have to be six foot five or under and we're six foot six so we can't get two contact dunk packages, but hey, pro contact dunk is more than enough. You know what I'm saying? It's better to have one contact dunk package than none at all. For me, but the standing dunk, we're literally a lockdown, so this doesn't matter. We're just gonna keep it up to 36, and we're not gonna touch the post control, which is gonna leave us with 16 finishing badges. I can't lie, 16 on a lockdown build is actually very, very good. Into the shooting, setting up with the major, you're gonna pump it up to a 70, just like this. But the three point shot is gonna be at a 78, so we can definitely shoot the ball, especially in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Y'all locked y'all should be in the corner uh, i mean if you're playing threes you're most likely going to be in the corner or even on the twos you're probably in the corner as well as a spot up so yeah i'm telling y'all a 78 as a spot up especially with corner badges on all the right shooting badges trust me a 78 three pointer is more than enough to spark consistent greens from the corner i'm telling y'all a 78 is more than enough and last but not least the free throw we're going to pump it up to an 80 for the badge gun because once you put it up to an 80 that will leave us with 15 shooting badges on a lockdown build i can't lie bro this build is looking so good so far 16 finishing and 15 shooting already just wait till we get into the playmaking and the defense is gonna get devious over here for the playmaking inside out for the pass accuracy is gonna be at a 73 so just put it up to a 73 like so up to a 73 and next for the ball handle we gotta have an 85 ball handle so yes we can do a lot of drill moves we don't unlock every single one in the game but y'all gotta remember we are a lockdown not a play shot not a short shot creator we are a lot 
lockdown. So it locked down one of the 85 ball handles was actually very, very, very good. Next for the speed will ball just get it to an 80 to put it up to an 80, just like so. 80, and that will leave us with 19 playmaking badges. So the full badge breakdown so far: 16 finishing, 15 shooting, and 19 playmaking. And now we're gonna get into the defense, the bread and butter of lockdown builds. I'm telling y'all, this board is crazy, bro. Then so for the interior defense, we're gonna put it up to a 74. So put it up to a 74, just like this. Up, 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 up. Next for the perimeter defense, is gonna be an 85 because obviously we are locked, so we need to have good perimeter defense. And what comes with perimeter defense? The steel. So we're gonna have a really high steel. When I say really high, I mean a 95 steel. We're gonna be plucking people like crazy. People gonna hate playing you because all you're gonna get is steals on them. I'm telling you, you press square, you hold down on the right stick. You know what I'm saying? That's the steal automatically. For the block, it's not gonna be anything too much. Just leave it at a 70. You know what I'm saying? Blocks really aren't that good this year, so there's no need of maxing it out. Just leave it at a 70. For the offense rebound, we're gonna put it at an 88. So yes, we can definitely rebound on this build. So put it up to an 88, just like so. And for the defense rebound, we're gonna pump it up to a 93. One, two, three. So we can have an 88 offensive rebound and a 93 defensive rebound with 20. Eight defensive badges. We're almost getting 30 badges on a lockdown build that can also dunk, that can most definitely shoot, and can also dribble. I'm telling y'all, this lockdown board is fucking insane, bruh. For the physical standing out for the speed, we're gonna put it on an 80, so put it up to an 80, like so. For the acceleration, we're just gonna put up by 5 to a 70. For the strength, we're actually gonna be pretty strong. We're gonna have an 82 strength, which is actually no slouch, especially for a lockdown build. So put up to an 82. For the vertical, it's gonna be at a 70, you know what I'm saying? And then for the stamina, you could match max it out at a 95 or if you want to you can drop it down to a 70 and bring the um vertical up to a 72 but hey i'm gonna just leave the vertical at a 70 and put the stamina at a 95 and that's the full build now look let me show you guys exactly what badges you can unlock with this build for the 16 finishing badge y'all can get bronze acrobat gold aerial wizard silver back down punisher silver bully gold pass twitch gold fearless finisher hall of fame giant slayer gold limitless takeoff and gold masher Silver Pulse Riser, Hall of Fame Pro Touch, and Silver Slithery. For the 15 shooting badges, y'all can unlock Bronze Agent 3, Silver Amped, Bronze Blinders, Silver Cat and Shoe, Gold Claymore, Gold Clutch Shooter, Hall of Fame Comeback Hit, Silver Corner Specialist, Bronze Dead Eye, Silver Green Machine, Silver Guard Up, Bronze Limitless Range, Silver Midi Magician, Hall of Fame Slippery Off Ball, Gold Space Creator, and Gold Volume Shooter. I can't lie, for a lockdown build, y'all got the shooting badges on lock. For the 19 playmaking badges, y'all can get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, bro. Just having Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker on a lockdown build is actually crazy. So y'all can get Hall of Fame Ankle Breaker, Bronze Bailout, Silver Break Starter, Silver Clamp Breaker, Silver Diamond, Silver Floor General, Silver Handle for days, gold hyperdrive, silver killer combos, bronze mismatch expert, silver needle threader, gold post playmaker, gold quick first step, gold special delivery, gold unpluckable, gold vice grip, I can't lie, a playmaking bad setup like this on a lockdown board is actually unheard of bro, I think I broke the game, I mean not really me, I think synthetic really broke the game with this lockdown board, this shit is overpowered bro, and last but certainly not least is the 28 defensive slash rebound badges which y'all can use to unlock bronze and Anchor, gold ankle braces, gold box out beast, silver brick wall, silver challenges, silver chase on artists, bronze clamps, gold glove, gold interceptor, gold menace, hall of fame off ball pest, gold pick dodger, gold pogo stick, bronze post lockdown, gold rebound chaser, and gold workhorse. I can't lie, for most of the badges being gold or hall of fame, or even some silver, I can't lie, bro. There's literally nothing you cannot do with this build. You can literally do every single thing with this build, bro. This build is fucking insane. For the primary takeover we obviously gotta pick lockdown defender bro come on bro on a lockdown board we need to have the lockdown defender now for the secondary takeover every single one is obviously fine obviously you can get the slashy one and get crazy contacts you can get sharp and sparky you can get a uh, playmaker and just go crazy with the hall of fame ankle braces so for me i'm gonna personally pick sharp but literally any single other option is valid bro literally every single takeover badge is valid on this build but for me i'm gonna go with spot up shooter literally it could be 
Lockdown Sharp, Lockdown Playmaking, Lockdown Slasher. Every single combo is going to be great. But for me, this is what I'm going to go with. Primary Lockdown, Secondary Spot Up. And that has built a two-way interior finisher. So with this build name, you're going to think you're a catfish and you cannot shoot. But if you have an interior finisher in your way, because you guys literally have interior finisher in your name. So once you guys start sparking the threes, they're going to start guarding you. So y'all can start dribbling, y'all can start defending, y'all can start dunking. I can't lie, bro. This build is fucking insane, bro. So, hey, before I sign off, I'm going to leave y'all with some quick little clips. You feel me? That my boy Synthetic got on this build because obviously it's his build. So he got some clips. So, hey, sit back, relax, grab some drinks, grab some food, grab some popcorn. And let me give you guys a sneak peek on the build that you guys could make and the things you guys can actually do with this build. It's been a big, awesome piece. I'll catch you on the next one. And I'm out.